The Central Florida Wheels of Steel event, presented by GEICO and benefiting the Early Learning Coalition of Polk County, brought together award-winning motorcycle builders from across the country who were eager to show off their latest custom designs. With a variety of vendors, music, and activities for the whole family to enjoy, this event was a huge success for motorcycle enthusiasts across Central Florida. Let's take a look. First off, I was honored that Jason asked me to be a part of it. Um, kind of what we just talked about. I'm hoping that the people that walk through the door today um, and the kids that come through the door, and I, you know, I've been introduced to a couple of kids this, you know, today, and I've asked them to come by the shop and check out what we do. It's, I'm hoping that, I know what he's trying to do, and he wants to get more people involved in what we do, and he doesn't want to see this industry go away, just like I don't want to either, and this show, I think is great, especially in Florida, being indoors. I know he's trying to bring it to, like, a higher class standard with, with more custom motorcycles and not so much of like the carny type shows that we do. So um, I think it's great. I think it's great what they're doing here. And Jason came and approached me in, in uh, Leesburg and he asked me, hey Tom, would you like to be part of the show, Wheels of Steel? And I was like, well, explain it to me a little bit because I'm already up this way and for me to go back and forth and travel, sometimes, you know, it gets in the way. So Jason was nice enough to explain it to me and introduce me to the people that were going to be part of it. And he said it's going to be other bike builders. And I, that, that, then that brought me onto it. I said, this is going to be something neat because we need to get more of this stuff out there. So when Jason approached me, I said, you know, this is going to be cool, Jay, I'm part of this. And he was really happy to have me part of this. And I was really happy to make this happen because I like to see this kind of stuff grow. I like this Polk County. It's an awesome county. The officers are really nice. They got their bikes on display out here. Super cool guys to talk to. They're real people. And they want this to happen out here. They want to bring this audience here. They want to make it happen. And I'm pretty happy that, that they, that I got invited to this biker build off. Uh, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, the crowd's beautiful. There's some nice bikes out there, some pretty badass builders. Got some nice equipment out there. Uh, I got some competition out there against me. When you say art, it is art, and it is moving art, is to keep recreating yourself and to, and to keep moving forward and to keep, all right, I built this bike, so how am I gonna top this one? How am I gonna do this to make this one different? It's, I don't know, it's tough. It's a tough deal, and then when you have, like my shop, I probably have 50 bikes in there that we're building. So for me to, to keep my mind, I had 50 different projects, and keep my mind on 50 different people Plus the people that I do build bikes for, I try to incorporate them into their builds. So I try to like hang out with you, get your vibe, what you what you think's fun and cool, and I try to put that in there. And I don't tell you I'm doing that, so that when I do present this bike to you, because I never send pictures and stuff like that, that like they're blown away, they love it. So a lot of my a lot of my stuff, sometimes I never get blank canvases. I get pre-existing bikes. Um, when I look at something, like I already see the end result, what I want to do, and like I'm not. I can't draw a stick figure, man. I'm, I can't draw anything. I'm horrible at drawing. I swear to you, I am. I, even my signature looks like a chicken scratch, you know? And uh, I don't know, I, with these bikes and projects, I just see the end results and I know what I want. And I know what the customer's gonna want. And I know that I'm gonna wow them because I'm gonna give them more than what they expect, their expectations. And then working with my painter, Ryan Hathaway, He's just like me, we're both humble dudes and we just like doing stuff for people to put smiles on people's faces. So he always blows my expectations away with, um, with paint jobs and the stuff that he does and we work so well together.
We've been out there for a long time, it's just as long as those other guys in the industry, the Indian Larrys, the West Coast Choppers guys. We're on the East Coast, so we don't get that publicity like we do on the West Coast. West Coast is a little different, but the East Coast is coming on strong. We have great builders over here. Eddie Trotter, Kendall Johnson, me, Thug Custom Cycles, uh, Billy Lane, Bling Cycles. We got some guys over here that can really run the show great. And just having that whole click over here on the, on the East Coast is awesome. We could do what we want on the East Coast. We could do what we want on the mid, mid Coast. So that's where the bikes are really taking off. And I did fall in love with Jesse James back in the days. I loved his builds. I loved his. I loved what he was doing and stuff like that. Some of his stuff I didn't like, but that's all fine because it's an artist. You don't have to like everything, but you're going to like a lot of it. And that's what makes me really love what I do. I sit there and make every bike a piece of art 